Hello friends, this video on the fundamental unit of life part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. And scientists discovered many other important things about cell because Robert Hooke just coined the term cell. He just uh, you know, introduced cell that there is something called cell inside every object. Then gradually came up many different scientists with many different theories with many different proposition, proposals and that gave rise to a vast knowledge on cells. So now we will talk about the evolution of the cell theory. So there was cell theory which was given in quite some time after cell was discovered. So let us see what was the cell theory. So when I talk of cell theory, so let us see how cell was gradually becoming popular or how cell was gradually become, was getting known to people. Well, as I mentioned in 1665, Robert Hooke discovered cell. Then somewhere around 1883, there was another scientist named Robert Brown who discovered nucleus in a cell. So you just you see the time gap, 1665 and then 1883, long time gap, right? So that means nothing got discovered very quickly, not at the spur of a moment. It was like Robert Hooke told that, okay, cells are there, but the uh, detailed knowledge of cells came after a long long time so scientists took quite a long time to understand the structure the composition the different parts of the cell so in 1883 robert brown told that inside the cell there exists a nucleus and somewhere around 1839 a pair of scientists Schleden and schwann proposed the cell theory so these two scientists together gave a cell theory so what was that cell theory i mean what actually the cell theory told that we will study about study here next again around 1855 there was another scientist named virtue who told that cells arise from pre-existing cells that means from existing cells new cells will arise again from those new cells newer cells will arise so this process will keep going on so that means cells will arise from cells only right so these were some of the improvements over the study of cell right so here you can see that 1665 when cell was discovered for the first time after that there was a long gap but then again in the 1800s that is 1833 then 1839 then 1855 so now gradually people were uh, becoming successful in understanding cells right okay so now let us look at the cell theory what does the cell theory actually say now cell theory says the first thing that cells are the structural and functional units of life. So what do I mean by structural and functional unit of life? So when I say structural unit of life, that means the structure of the living organism. Life means any living organism. So the structural structure of every living organism is made up of cells. The example which I told you like each brick together all the bricks together constitute the house similarly all cells together actually construct the structure of a living organism therefore cell is the structural unit of life now functional unit of life means each cell performs a specific function now all cells together performing some functions constitute the net function of the organism for example every living organism let us take the example of human beings there are so many functions which the entire body all together perform. For example, the body has a digestive system which helps in digestion. There is another respiratory system which helps in respiration. There is another excretory system which excretes best products from the body. There is a circulatory system which helps in blood circulation throughout the body. So, so if you look at the body as a whole, there are so many different functions which the body performs, right? Now, each of these functions are a result of the function which is performed by each cell. So the function performed by each cell when considered together gives us the net function performed by the entire living organism. So therefore cells are known as the structural and functional units of life. So the next thing the cell theory told that was all organisms are made up of cells be it plants animals bacteria fungi birds whatever it is every organism is made up of cells 
all cells arise from pre-existing cells only. That means, I mean, it is not by some magic that cells come up. So, cells arise from pre-existing cells. So, these were some of the um, points which were given in the cell theory. So, this cell theory, as I mentioned in the previous slide, was given by a uh, pair of scientists, that is Sheridan and Schwann. Right? Okay. So, now we are aware of... Um, the cell theory also, we are also aware of what is a cell. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.